Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Kevin, and today I'm going to teach you how to easily add speed ramping to your videos. Time for another bite size. This video is actually a partly a response to a subscriber question on how to do the slow motion zoom. So I thought what better way to learn it than breaking down how Sam Calder does it. For those of you that are not familiar with Sam, he's a YouTuber that makes a lot of destination videos like these. What he just saw was speed ramping used as a transition. All it is is changing the speed of the footage, which is also why it's usually shot in higher frame rate. The reason you would want to shoot in higher frame rate is because speed ramping is a combination between slow motion and hyperspeed footage. Let's say these four blocks is your footage shot in normal frame rate, right? That's like 24 or 30 frames per second. Now there's no problem with us speeding this up, which is condensing these blocks. But if we slow this down and drag these four blocks further apart, we're gonna start seeing these gaps. These gaps is where choppy footage comes from. Higher frame rate just means that we're going to have more blocks to fill those gaps. Now let's jump right into Premiere to see how this is done. In Premiere, after you have imported your footage, go to your footage at the bottom, hold the Option key on your keyboard, and scroll to increase the width of your footage on your timeline so we can have a better look at what we're dealing with. On the left hand corner you will see a FX button, right click on that and click time remapping and then speed. Then we'll see a line appear on top of the footage. By moving that line up and down you'll be controlling the speed of your footage. If you hold command and click on the line now you will get a keyframe. If you pull one side of that line up and the other side down we will get this cliff. Playing back the footage right now will result in an abrupt change of speed. And what we want is a smooth gradual transition. So above that cliff we just created, you'll see these markers. If you hover over these markers, it'll give you an option to drag them apart. If I end up pulling these apart, you'll see more of a gradual change in speed in the footage. If you play with these points in the middle, it'll also help you soften the transition. In order to make this a transition between two videos, there are some things you need to do first. First of all, your footage needs to be moving. In the music video we referenced before, the camera is moving from subject to subject. In Sam Calder's travel video, it's panning in the same direction from location to location, whether it's a handheld shot footage or a drone footage. When you're connecting these two pieces of footage together in post, you want to use the time remapping we learned earlier in this video and set a keyframe for near the end of the video where it starts slow and speeds up. For the second clip, you want to start at that same speed and then slow down. And that's how you do it. Hope you learned something from this video. Like the video if you liked it, and if you're new to this channel, I make videos on effects and transitions used in creative filmmaking. So if you're into that stuff, remember to subscribe. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Remember to check out some of my other videos, and until the next one, I'll catch you later.